Practice free latest HPE compute solutions HPE 0S59 real questions for preparation. 1. Which statement about manual orchestration during the firmware update is true? A. It is supported only for logical enclosures with at least three frames. B. It provides an ability to select and update one side of the interconnect topology at a time. C. It provides the ability to install an older firmware version than currently installed in the interconnect. D. It allows all the interconnect modules to be activated manually at the same time. Answer. B. 2. Your customer reports that they cannot deploy HPE Synergy compute nodes using HPE OneView for VMware vCenter server, HPE OV4 VC. What should you check during troubleshooting process? A. If HPE OneView credentials are added in vCenter server. B. If in compute nodes are added to the vCenter server. C. If the HPE OneView instance is integrated with HPE OV4 VC. D. If vCenter server is licensed in the HPE OneView interface. Answer. C. 3. You are troubleshooting an HPE OneView server profile that presents a critical state. The server profile was configured with a link aggregation group. What should you check to fix the issue? A. If both Phi XNICs are configured with the same speed. B. If the logical enclosure is built on at least three HPE Synergy frames. C. If both Phi XNICs are connected to different networks. D. If the logical enclosure is configured with redundant master modules. Answer. A. 4. Which statement about a new HPE SimpliVity deployment is true? A. New HPE SimpliVity deployments give customer flexible choice of hypervisor. B. All new HPE SimpliVity models are based on AMD CPUs. C. All new HPE SimpliVity models support deduplication and compression. D. New HPE SimpliVity deployments are licensed per node not per physical socket. Answer. C. 5. Your customer experienced some problems caused by outdated HPE Superdome Flex firmware. Which update method should they use to avoid these issues in the future? A. HPE OneView method for I.O. firmware update procedure. B. R. M. C. C. L. I. to update I.O. and HPE persistent memory firmware. CHPE OneView ITHPE Persistent Memory Firmware must be updated. DHPE SUM if HPE Persistent Memory Firmware must be updated. Answer. D. 6. You plan to configure a link aggregation group. Lag for two connections within a server profile for a compute node running an ESXi system. What is required from the VMware side to enable lag? A. Virtual Distributed Switch B. vSphere Standard License C. Load Balancing Cluster D. Dedicated VM Kernel Port Answer. D. 7. Which tool can be used to evaluate me health of an HPE OneView appliance before proceeding with an appliance updated? A. HPE Composer Maintenance Console B. HPE OneView Update Readiness Checker C. HPE OneView Global Dashboard D. HPE OneView Firmware Compliance Report 
Answer. B. 8. Which statement about login redistribution is true? A. Login redistribution is available only if HPE Primera or HPE Electra is connected directly to the HPE Synergy frame. B. Login redistribution is a licensed feature and the number of licenses required depends on the number of active ports. C. Login redistribution is supported only on the HPE Synergy Virtual Connect SE32 Gigabits FC modules. D. Login redistribution is used for login balancing when they are not distributed evenly over the FC links. Answer. C. 9. Your customer reports that they cannot deploy HPE Synergy compute nodes using HPE OneView for VMware vCenter server, HPE OV4 VC. What should you check during troubleshooting process? A. If HPE OneView credentials are added in vCenter server. B. If in compute nodes are added to the vCenter server. C. If the HPE OneView instance is integrated with HPE OV4 VC. D. If vCenter server is licensed in the HPE OneView interface. Answer. C. 10. Your customer plans to deploy HPE OneView for VMware vCenter server together with HPE Storage Integration Pack for VMware vCenter. The customer wants to use them to manage HPE Synergy Gen 10 compute modules. HPE Proliant Gen 10 servers and an MSA array. Which statement about compatibility of the existing environment with the planned software components is true? A. Both HPE Synergy Gen 10 full-height compute module plugins will require a license. B. HPE OneView for VMware vCenter server does not support standalone HPE Proliant servers. C. To use the required plugins HPE Proliant Gen 10 systems must be managed using HPE OneView. D. HPE Storage Integration Pack for VMware vCenter does not support MSA arrays. Answer. C. 9.